Okay, guys. Uh, this is the cement mixer olive. I'll talk a bit more <coughs> after the event, but it's recovering, it's growing. It's time for a trim in certain areas. So here it goes. Here it goes. Oh no, good luck, Bonzo. Good luck. You okay, guys? Wow. So far, so good. Maybe they don't like the taste of it. Let them go for a while. Quick update, the uh, sheepies are starting to get through this thing, nibbling it away, but not quite enough yet. So, you can see all the damage, a lot of leaves gone, a lot cut back, so I'm just going to water it and leave it in the sheep paddock for a few more days, see what happens. Cheers. What do you reckon, Leo? Crazy? Yeah? I mean, Roy. <laughs> What do you reckon, Roy? I've gone insane. Well, there's Leo. Hello, Leo. Hey. Hey, anyway. Good boys. Good boys. <laughs> Leo. Leo, man. You gonna itch? What's that? You're so cute. Alright guys, so to the tree. Right, you would have noticed last video we um, had it out in the paddock with the sheep. And, hang on guys, I'm not organised again. Get my snips. So in this video, I want to see, you know, put the same video that's been in the cement mixer and I want to put it out with the sheep to see how the sheep go. So here we are, they've pretty well stripped all the leaves off in general. Give you a bit of a spin. But they didn't do enough damage to the branch structure. They've pretty well just stripped the leaves with their mouth and left the branches. Done some damage, but it's actually already shooting back. So this is only two weeks later, and in that two weeks I've stripped it, left it, and it's starting to grow back. So it looked pretty brutal there at the start. I thought they were gonna do a good job, but they didn't cut it back enough. I reckon maybe some goats might be better. Get some goats in on it. But for now I've decided, you know what, let's give this poor tree a break. Treat it with a bit of respect, a bit of decency. Been through the ringer, i.e. the cement mixer, um, and then got eaten by the sheep. So I think we start to treat this tree with a bit of respect and just trim it and see how we go. And I wouldn't mind betting that it's tripped through the cement mixer and eaten by the sheep will probably help give it some character when it gets older. Some of that character will probably shine through in certain areas like dead spots here and dead spots around the place where branches got ripped off. It's got to change the design of the tree. So we'll see what this tree brings in the future but for now I'm just going to trim it back. Get rid of all these basil shoots. The reason it put out so many basil shoots is because the whole top got smashed apart. The roots still had plenty of energy, even though if you remember when it happened, the roots actually got completely bare-rooted and a lot of them did get ripped off, but the trunk had so much energy it had to push somewhere and because the top was so damaged, it pushed out a lot at the bottom, which is why I've got so many shoots at the bottom here. So I'm just going to trim it back now and promote some branch structure in the thing. And in time, 
I'm sure it will become a really nice bonsai. So that's it for you, you poor guy. You can have a rest, relax up. I'll start treating you a bit nicer now. Surprised the sheep didn't pull it out the pot or step on the pot and break the pot, but pretty good. So yeah, if I want them to do more damage, maybe goats. Maybe I need some goats. But you know, I'll leave this poor tree go now. So that's it for the sheep eating olive after the cement mixer olive. And now it'll just be treated like a good old bonsai. So I'll bring you guys in up close on that one. All the branch structure. It's dead wood, fat trunk. Nice weed. And that's pretty much it. So, front's probably here somewhere, I would say. In which case, I'll probably remove this one here at the front that's grown. And maybe this crossing one here. So, we'll just let that whole thing, you know, recover, grow. And turn into a bonsai. Cheers. Yeah, <laughs>